sharing a thought today about I was thinking about how when I used to attend the church building and where I come from part of salvation is being filled with the spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues well they believe that you need to be filled with the spirit which is the evidence of speaking in tongues they call it the Holy Ghost and when you receive that speaking in tongues that's the initial sign that you have now received the Spirit of God and so all that to say that when I read about God in his in the word I don't see anywhere in the word where it says that Jesus spoke in tongues I don't see it anywhere in the word where he said that that you must speak in tongues that that's the Holy Ghost I I read about where he says um, going he tells his disciples that he's leaving and going coming gonna send back the comforter but I don't see anywhere where Jesus says speaking in tongues that he spoke in tongues or we're supposed to be speaking in tongues and the reason why I'm sharing this thought today is because I was thinking about how I once believed that I needed to be like Jesus sort of speak you know and in the church they teach you be like Jesus what would Jesus do and follow after him or be like him and all that so how come the Word of God doesn't say the Bible say that Jesus spoke in tongues but yet they say that you're supposed to speak in tongues once you speak in tongues it proves sort of sort of proves that you have the spirit of the living God living inside of you but anyone who doesn't speak in tongues doesn't have the gift of the Holy Ghost so this gift that we're supposed to receive you see nowhere in scripture where it says Jesus had this gift so I just wanted to share that because being in the church system for 35 years of my life I really did believe that I believe this was a something that we were supposed to be filled with something that we were supposed to have something that we couldn't leave this world unless we had this speaking in tongues and I we would be lost if we didn't have that and so I you know I believe that being 35 years in the church system I believe that and if that's true that you have the living God living inside of you when you receive this shouldn't there be some kind of change in people's lives and hearts and I just don't understand that because I seen a lot of people come to church and they would go up to the altar where you can go up in the front and come and receive this this gift and they would receive this gift and walk right out and never come back or just never nothing never changed in their lives or anything like that and doesn't having the living God inside of you you would think that something would change I just wondered about that because I don't believe I don't believe in that I don't even know what that was all about I'm here to say that I don't even know what that was really about I think it was an emotional thing or I don't I don't know I don't know what happened there but all I know is that I don't speak in tongues today and I know that I'm loved and accepted by my Lord I know that I'm not going to hell because I don't speak in tongues I know that I'm not lost or or whatever the church system tries to make you believe that you aren't if you don't have the, the speaking in tongues 
So I just want to share that thought with you today because there's so much that we're being taught out there in the churches. Be like Jesus. What would Jesus do? This and that. And nowhere do I see in scripture that it says he spoke in tongues.